Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And I keep seeing all this UFO stuff from so-called so Google Earth. And I just want to point out, uh, what I figured out is that Google Earth is not a very good uh, place to look for UFOs. In fact, the odds of you finding one are extremely rare. Extremely rare anyway. And Google Earth is a thousand times worse. Now this uh, area is where there's a um, so-called triangular UFO that somebody th said they photographed. This is Australia. I think that I think that's what this was from. I was uh, taking a little tour on Google Earth. Now here's why it won't work. You won't find cryptids. You won't find UFOs, nothing of that sort. Now, Google Earth is, I'm not saying they're doing anything to hide stuff other than some something that's been in the news about certain areas that don't want to be photographed, but that's not the point. The point is, you have to understand, this is virtual reality technology to a large extent. It's similar, I would say, to what they have on uh, Second Life in some respects. So what they do is they map out the surface of the Earth. That's going to be a, quite an enormous undertaking. They map it out. Computers uh, create... 3D images from the satellite images that they get. And then you can view the Earth fairly well in 3D. You can walk through it, whatnot. The problem is that this type of technology won't catch anything that's moving. N not as much. It's not going to catch much in the way of animals, plants, well, plants it will, but animals, uh, if you're looking for cryptids, planes, very few of those. And you will get uh, cars on the highway to an extent, not as many as um, you might expect, but the reason is that they're moving. This is Technology is designed to map out the surface of the earth and buildings and waterfalls and that type of thing. It's not meant to ca capture these moving images. There's a lot of fraud, a lot of hoaxes uh, claiming that they, you know, somebody caught a UFO on Google Earth. Now what are we looking at here? What are these strange things? Well, well obviously they're windmills of Australia. So I'm going to take you and show you a typical since I'm in the Rochester area, I'll show you the Rochester neighborhood. Hang on. And I just love this technology. This is downtown Rochester and you know they're safely without getting rolled. Uh... And you see vehicles parked along the street and stuff. I'm not sure they're parked. I try to avoid downtown Rochester. I do work on the west side. But this gives you an idea. They will capture an image of a person. There's some guy. And there's a parking garage and all that. But there, there's no pigeons. There's no dogs. There's no crows. Common crow is very, <laughs> shall we say, common sight in uh, this section of the country. They're not considered to be important, so Google Earth isn't going to pick them up. Besides which, they don't stay in one place. What is a crow? It's a varmint with wings. Essentially. 
That's basically what it is. Now let's take a look at some of the neighborhoods. Maybe if we get lucky, we'll pick up an image of a dog. Now isn't this scenic? Uh, this is some Rochester neighborhood. Look at the busted out windows in that house. They get a lot of that. They get, uh, they call them zombie houses where no one lives and they've been foreclosed on. Frankly, I'm surprised to uh, see the sky gray. Usually in these Google Earth images, it's uh, slate blue, uh, sky blue. But you're getting a picture here. There's a few people, there's no critters. I'm sure if you work that, you eventually find a flock of crows. Actually, I should say murder crows. A gaggle of geese. Hang on. Computer issues. More of a physical issue with the uh, microphone than anything. Are you getting a picture here, though? You're not going to see much in the way of uh, any kind of critter in these photos. This is life in the hood. You might see some cars, but well, that's about that. Now, it's just because it's not that they're trying to hide anything. It's simply because the technology is mostly going to pick up structures and trees and things that are fixed in the location for enough time for the cameras to pick up and change them into images. The murder of crows isn't a in a fixed location. They're flying around, cawing at us, cussing us out, whatever. So that's that's the basic reason. You're not going to see much in the way of UFOs. If you can find a genuine UFO using Google Earth, you're my hero. How convenient. They, uh... They even blur out the license plates. Alright. So, now let's take a look at some of these UFO images. And, I think you're going to be surprised. What I did is I did a search on Google Earth UFO. And here's a few of them I came up with. Now, this is an interesting photo, but it's not Google Earth. In fact, if you look in the SAS line, it says iPhone. So, this was uploaded from the phone, basically. And next slide. Again, uh, this was on Google Maps or something. I don't know. This is a really good one. Um, I like this one, but it's not Google Earth. And you can see that I had the status line there showing you that, you know, when you get one of these photos, if you take a photo from Google Earth, which does have function there, it's going to, yeah, you can do it. But it's, uh, I'm going to have that status line on uh, coordinates and all that. None of these photos does. Photoshop, obviously. So, this one's useless and it's not Google Earth. And yet it was put forth as being from Google Earth. Photoshop, useless hoax. This one's worse. Well, it's not Google Earth either. I don't know what it is. Photoshop useless hoax. Getting a picture here. This is an 
This might actually be Google Earth. I don't think so. It doesn't come. It doesn't conform, however, to what I have on my computer, so I don't think so. But again, it's the same photoshopped, useless red UFO that has been hoaxed. So that is a hoax. I'm not even getting into this one. Hoax. This one has watermark 2014 Google. Copyright 2014 Google. It's Google, Google Photo. Same red UFO hoax. Not Google Earth. And you can see that the lines are kind of go over different objects like this one car on the lower right hand corner. And the uh, lines are doubled. Hoax. Are you getting picture yet? My point here is that you are not going to, sorry about that, uh, screencast o has this nasty tendency to just stop for no reason, but uh, my point here is that you're just not going to find UFOs and cryptids and stuff using Google Earth. They don't stay in one place, and that's a big problem. Curiously enough, they do capture images of cars on the move. You won't see murders of crows, gaggles of geese, blocks of birds, herds of buffalo. I said buffalo. I live in Bill's country. Sorry, folks. I call them buffalo. We call them buffaloes here. I live in Bill's country. You're just not going to find it, so don't waste your time. Better off getting out in the field to a UFO hotspot and dealing with it out there. That's my opinion. You know, prove me wrong. You want to make a video and show me where you're uh, spotting huge, you know, flocks of geese or something, a gaggle of geese or murder of crows or flock of starlings, a herd of buffaloes, then go right ahead. I mean, you best have the uh, water market, and the uh, stats line at the bottom proving that it's from Google Earth. So easy. Bottom line is, you really want to, if you really are a UFO enthusiast, you're going to have to get out with binoculars, cameras, and possibly drones, whatever. Get out there in the field and hunt the, hunt the things. Don't sit on your duff going through Google Earth photo, uh, imagery and expect to find some big revelation. Of course, if you want to go over Mars, there's plenty of stuff in the Google Earth Mars uh, areas. That's a different story entirely. But I don't live on Mars, I live on Earth. I'm getting a picture. So get off your butt and get out there with a full with uh, binoculars, telescopes, cameras, and start taking pictures of UFOs. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.